But I just sat down and started grooving. I mean, I don't think I talked to anybody. I mean, I don't even, did we knock on the door? The door was probably open. It was like an ashram. We walked in and we were in Dada's living room and I didn't know Dada or anybody. I didn't even know if I saw any Indians. I saw all my people and I sat down. We had our packs. We sat down. And everybody's chanting and grooving. And that's when I had my first darshan of Maharaji. There was like, you know, what I later found out was called the tucket, Mm -hmm. like the bed bench with the red plaid blanket and a million flowers because it was Dada's living room puja altar right. and it was a nice picture of Maharaji and so I look at the picture and I'm chanting along and my heart's open you know out of nowhere all of a sudden I'm with everybody yeah. out of the teeming railway station and lost in India 20 years old all of a sudden I'm with everybody and it's really nice yeah it feels like home yeah it was home and then I really had Darshan Maharaji and then I noticed a few people coming in and out of some door from the living room. And, you know, it wasn't that uptight, like a solid meditation course could seem to be. So I said to whoever was on the other side, Ed was on one side, he didn't know what was going on either. I said to him, you know, what's going on? Well, like, is Maharaji here? Or mm-hmm. where's da- is, it, is Dada here? Is this Dada's house? <laughs> I mean, the ritual dropped me off, but the sign didn't say Dada's house or Mukherjee, <laughs> right. right? It right. was just where they lived. Four church night. It wasn't an ashram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they said, they're going in to see Maharaji. He's in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. So I don't can't remember. I wasn't like that avid hot. I was already having darshan. Mm-hmm. But somehow, I, I, so I didn't jump right up to go there. You know, it wasn't that mood right. at that time. Right. People weren't fighting to get to his feet right then either because mm-hmm. it wasn't that crowded. But then eventually I got to, in that room with Maharaji by myself and with Dada. Somebody must have taken me in there, but I'm forgetting, you know, or right. pushed me in that direction. And I said, oh, I just go and follow so-and-so, you know. Yeah. So, so you went in by yourself. Yeah, yeah, somehow they shooed me in, you know, with Dada, and Dada was, like, twirling a towel yeah. to f- keep the bugs or, off Maharaji or yeah. make a wind. Again, I never knew what was going on. <laughs> there was a gray-haired Indian Brahmin guy right. with a white shirt and a black vest with his BD stuck in it probably, and a dhoti wrapped like a wrapped around, not even like a skirt, but you know, yeah. a dhoti. So I, he looked like a pasha or a sultan, but he was just a nice old gentleman. I later found that was Dada. And twirling a towel around, probably orange, over this ancient Baba's head who's sitting there in a funny posture on some kind of bed or tuck it, you know. <laughs> and smiling right. and welcoming me without speak English. And I go in and bow down and he, I don't even remember what he did. Yeah. But I'm telling you what, what I do remember is um, Dada said something like, Oh, you have come. I don't know if Maharaj said, but you know, that's what I heard. Somebody, oh, you have come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's Indian English, like right. as if they were expecting me. I don't know why. I didn't even have time to make a story out of any of this. It just happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Maharaji. I didn't even know how to say Babaji then, probably. Yeah. And I don't know. Dada said, Maharaji says, take this b- prasad, and he gives me a banana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how it was with Maharaji? Yes. We who studied with Maharaji, yes. this is what it was like. Yeah, yeah, this is what banana. we studied. <laughs> have a banana. I mean, the first Maharaji story, I think, is that I have my gosh on a Maharaji doing kirtan with the satsang. Mm-hmm. That's like for me, my first Maharaji darshan and story was meaningful. And the presence. Like I met the big Maharaji, then I went in the room and I met Maharaji. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. the Maharaji in the room left a week later, but that big Maharaji didn't seem to leave. And the one in the room died a year or two later, but that big Maharaji never left me or something. Mm-hmm. So that's my Maharaji. What the mind means in this case, my guru. I don't know how, again, I have no memory of how we found ourselves in that room. Were you in that room alone? Were you in that room with somebody like Raghu? Were you in that room alone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did we go in one by one? Was that the custom? Was it like a private interview with Gawenka? I don't remember. No. I don't remember how. Yeah. And also, I didn't have anything special to ask. Mm-hmm. Like, can I have a Gyatri mantra? Or I, I wasn't even a disciple. Right. I didn't, you know, I was just... There in the satsang, being taken care of by Maharaji and his 60 or 80 loving hands, including Dada and Mrs. 
Dada Muki, Mrs. Mukherjee, yeah, Didi. Didi. Yeah. Dada, Didi, and Dudu, and Dada, <laughs> and the grandmother Didi, and the niece and Auntie daughters, Didi. Auntie Didi, and you know, I didn't even know which was what. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. It was so loving. And um, they were like grandparents and parents to us, even mm -hmm. though they never saw us till the day before. So loving. And equal to all. And uh, so I was in the room, and this is exactly what happened. What was said, because, you know, not so much was said, I can remember what was said. Dada says, Maharaji says, take the name of Jesus. I think he said, take the name of Yeshu. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, you know, surprised, but also not that surprised. How appropriate that he should name me Jesus. I get like the banana. I don't know. You know, he, he said, take the name of Yeshu. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, mm, Yeshu. Or, I mean, maybe I even said, what's Yeshu? And he said, that's Maharaj's name for Jesus. That's what we call Jesus in mm -hmm. Hindi. He probably said, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, take the name of Yeshu. He didn't say Yeshu is your name. He said, take the name of Yeshu. Mm -hmm. So, I oh, mm, you know, again, I didn't have much to say except, and then I was out. So you know how it was. It was so family there. It was like, right. could you, I don't know, you have siblings, right? I have, I have two siblings. You can never do anything in our house without everybody knowing about it. The minute you did anything, everybody would know about it or ask you about it or you'd tell them because mm. you'd come out and then you'd be in the next room with five of them. Right. So somebody said, you know, like, what happened? I said, he named me Yeshu. And I don't remember who it was. It was one of the elders who had been there a little while longer. It wasn't Krishna, Mira, Danny, you know. Right. He said, what? <laughs> Somebody who was familiar with the name schemes <laughs> and never heard anybody named Jesus or Buddha. He said, like, what? <laughs> I said, oh. So yeah, Dada said, take the name. Maharaji said, take the name of Yeshu. And then my friend said, ah. That's how they say in English, you know, like, take the name of Ram. It means, like, repeat the Ram mantra. Mm. Take, you know, constantly say Ram. Take the name of right. Yeshu. It's like, say, Yeshu, Yeshu, Yeshu. Yeah. So that was that. Funny. Is that funny? That's that was the funny. day I didn't get named. <laughs> Everybody wanted to get named. I didn't even think about it. That was the name I thought I got. That was the day I thought I got named. It was the day I didn't actually didn't get named.